Welcome everyone to the Monday, October 26th presentation of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute. It's the MagGrab Blueprint Teaching Week. And this is the first installment uh, of the free energy in exchange for world peace theme. And I believe we're ready to begin now with uh, Mr. Kesh at the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute. Are you ready, Mr. Kesh? I think so. Good morning, good day uh, to you whenever and whenever you listen to these broadcasts. Uh, today and this week all together is a special time for the Foundation and maybe the change of course for humanity. We promised, we gave the governments 10 days and uh, the 10 days finishes today. As of today, we start distributing the units which has been purchased by the Foundation. But the problem is, as we even have seen with the governmental demonstrations in uh, uh, where the ambassadors took the units, they plugged in the system the wrong way and they just created the spark and they had to wait for it to repair. So. What we see is to achieve a proper use and secondly, distribution of the knowledge the correct way, we need to teach. This is a new technology, it's a new environment of science and not many people know how to use the systems. So if we put the units out the way we are doing now, then we find out that a lot of you make systems or use the systems and you see it doesn't work or you think it doesn't work or you damage the system without you knowing. So what we've done this week, we have put and specialized this week for one thing and that is to teach totally about the new plasma system. What is the new plasma system? Why you need to know? If you buy a computer, you spend time learning how to use it, how to program it. If you buy a new dishwasher, you do the same. You learn the manual. This is not a normal power supply system. This is a new plasma technology. It has to be done the way it's designed. It has to be understood to be able to use correctly. You can't just plug it in and say it doesn't work. Believe you me, it will not work the minute you plug it in because you're not looking in the right place. The difference with this technology is that you have to understand the work of plasma. You have to understand how plasma interacts. You have to understand how the interaction of the plasma can lead to, do you want to take that? Hello. You've been asking if these systems are two kilowatt, 10 kilowatt, five kilowatt, these systems are, and in the coming time we show you, meet all sorts of demands. Whatever you demand from it in time, once you learn it, you will see you can achieve it. The present unit released works maximum at two kilowatt. What this means, you cannot overload it for over two kilowatt. Otherwise, you're gonna damage it very much in line with. So what you're going to get is two kilowatt is your maximum. So when you do two kilowatt, so what happens is you connect the system, you expect two kilowatts from it, and then you see it doesn't work. When you plug your system in, when you receive it, you leave it. It's like when you buy a freezer or a fridge, they tell you when you move a fridge or a freezer to a house, you got to leave it 24 hours to climatize before you can plug it in. So with this new system, 
you plug your system in and depends where you put it. You have to ask an electrician, somebody who understands how to connect the first units to connect it. When you connect it to the plug, you leave your unit and then you add a load of about one kilowatt to it and you leave it. Which will be, we are not sending any manuals through the box which you receive. Your manual is on the internet. You receive an access, you go onto the website, you download, you read what you got to do step by step and it gets uploaded continuously. So you can connect the unit directly to the main at the point of the box, your junction, or you can put it anywhere in the house and from that point where you connected it, your unit, you can take power from it. It's very simple. The system, you plug this into the main or you change this to fit into the main system which comes from the grid and you take your supply from here. Or you connect this end to the back of your meter that where the main supply comes into the house. So the plug fits here <coughs> and your plug fits here. That's to the main and this side is for your use. <coughs> <coughs> then over week to weeks, you increase the power to two kilowatts resistive. Non-resistive, you can go to as much as the system can take, two, three, four kilowatts. Two kilowatts is like heaters and anything which you might have. So for LED lights, for um, computers, for the standard non, uh, what do you call it, resistive conditions, brushless coil, like the ones on the computer, fans and the rest. <coughs> After a week or so, you find out more or less your energy supply is zero, which means whatever you use, you don't pay for. It's not that you're stealing, it's that the system is start releasing its energy. So what happens is that you use the power both in two ways. You have a DC and you have an AC. Your system on a DC, it's more or less three, four, five kilowatts. We don't have that much use. We have maybe one or two kilowatts in the house, which we use like the fridge and that kind of thing. The resistive loads like the heaters, you have to step up slowly to two kilowatt. And if you use your system, which is overloading, the system has been adjusted with this resistant, or what you call a heat measurement device inside, which means it's short circuit. It cuts it off till the load is taken off. So you cannot overheat the system. The system internally has a heat resistor gauge that does not allow you to go over 55 degrees, that you cannot damage the system. It cuts, you leave it for a while, it comes back on again and it goes. If you plug the system in and it blows out, you hear a big spark, this is normal. This is a transition from plasma to matter, the state, at the point where these wires are in a matter state, interact with the material inside, which are not in matter state, they're in a plasma state. So if you get that, you just leave it for a while, 24 hours later, the layers will build themselves up and then you can reconnect it. Am I correct? 
Arman knows it because they did it in Russia when he was there in Armenia. One of the officials just plugged it in. They had a big bang, not it worked. And the next day, system start working again. A few hours. It's just, it's the beauty of the system. It's a, what do you call it, solid state matter. More or less, you cannot do anything with it. We know there is a possible, in the first batch, weakness, which is getting rectified, should not be, is where these, the wires from these units can be overloaded in respect to the uh, nano-coated material. And then it all needs to be replaced. There's no problem with it. But in a second cycle, which is already going through the production, this has been uh, rectified as well. This is what we know. We haven't seen any problem with it, but if it happens, it's just the diameter of the wires are slightly different, and that could give you a spark. But the whole problem is, for you to be able to use these units, we spend whole week educating you. <clears throat> this week is called the blueprint. The standard teaching of the Keshe Foundation on the teaching uh, masters, this week is stopped because it's vital and important for two points. Once you learn to use this, we show you by the end of the week up to 10 kilowatt resistive. But it needs a special process, it needs a special setting. It cannot be done with one unit. We have tested it, so we are testing further. So you can even, in a further development, push the use to over 20, 30 kilowatt resistive. But it needs time. You need three weeks to get the system set in the house. Minimum. What does this mean? You add a little, you wait for a week, and then you add another load, you wait another week, and then gradually you take the whole household in. The reason being, as we will explain, is that the house, all your wiring in the house, needs to be nano-coated. If you unplug, you'll find out, you start again, but instead of taking three weeks, it might take three minutes, three hours to reuse the same system. You'll find out, this is what we see now in the trials around the world be done, it's better to leave the light of the house on all the time because you keep the, the power going. You don't use anything. Your meters from the governmental side gradually will come to a halt, depending how much power you put on the system, which means you don't see any more consumption than what you usually do. These are plasma reactors. These are not plasma generators. Generators in the future will be totally different. In the generators which you are working on, you do not have a connection to the government. You are independently supplied, and that will take some time for us. We are still searching on it to be able to deliver a simple box that can deliver you independent of the resources of national governments. But what it will bring you, something simple, is that what we have seen with two kilowatt, as I explained, you only pay 40% of the bill after about three weeks. We see now with a new setup, much more reduction after two or three weeks, which means if you leave your heater on whole day or your air condition on whole day, after once it's done, you will not add, should not add any more to your bill because the system gets nano-coated, system gets superconductivity, and it works on its own. The reason we connect in this technology to the main, as I've explained in the presentation, we need the enhancement from the phase shift of the 50 hertz. Once we can complete this without any other units but plasma units, we will release the new generators 
on their own. We can now connect the system to a generator of 50 Hertz, but of the independent of the, of the grid. But this is not the purpose. Everything which will market will be totally plasma technology dependent. So we are not going outside to look, to compensate or to make a shortcut. We teach you today from basic. Please try to make as many units as you can for yourselves or for your neighbors. Or if you start developing this technology, manufacturing them using the blueprint, come back to the Cash Foundation, work with our ethos that we don't work for the profit. We are there to share the technology with the rest of the world. We have put parameters to those who want to carry the logo of the Cash Foundation SSI, and those parameters we keep to. The people who received the first batch of the units this week, you will see it says is used at your own risk because we had to do this as the European licensee certificate, American license certificate, are all due within the next few days. When we receive it, we send through the same post a copy to you that your system is certified. It covers all the rules and regulations of EU regulation at the moment. So everything is within the standard. There is no radioactive, there is no magnetic field resonance outside the parameter of the box or in the box that can obstruct the use of it. Don't forget, there is international regulation. And that international regulation says, you can build whatever you want for your home inside your home. So no one can stop you once we finish by this Friday to build a system for yourself at home. So we teach you to be able to make yourself independent of energy in a vast way. And if you have a generator, you don't need anything here. You're totally independent. If you can put the generator with 10, 20 neighbors and connect to it, each one with the same unit connected, you'll find out you're totally independent. Your fuel is just to create a signal. This is not a signal generator. Signal generator does not enhance the plasma work. It has to be the way it comes through the current flow phasing. This is the main important things which you'll come to understand. 